It's recording. Okay. Alright. Hi. My name is Kyle Stance. I'm 5'10". I weigh 520 pounds. I reside in Brazil, Indiana. And I'm applying to The Biggest Loser because I need help saving my life. I'm 25 years old. And for the past 20 years, I have been bullied, made fun of, snickered at, laughed at, pointed at. I've been made fun of more than anybody you could think of in, in life. I'm wanting to get this changed. I can't go about a daily life like a normal person. I can't do normal things. can't grocery shop like normal people. can't do activities like I want. Basically, you're my last hope. And if you look into these eyes, I've seen on shows that's been on NBC for your show that one of the biggest things is people being broken, people quitting. I don't know the word quit because if I knew the word quit, I'd have committed suicide a long time ago. Quit is not in my vocabulary. On January 12th of this year, I uh, faced the biggest obstacle in my life when my biggest supporter uh, left this earth. And I made a promise to her before she died, before my mom died, that I would do whatever it takes to lose this weight. That's why I need to be on your show. No trainer, Jillian, no one could break me. The promise that I made, I will keep. This ring that I wear around my neck every day belongs to my mom. That is my inspiration. That is my drive. That is my determination. No one can break what I have. The old saying is the irresistible force, meaning the immovable object. Well, NBC and The Biggest Loser, the immovable object is right here. I, tr I dare you to test me, to break me. It can't be done. Can't be done. I know it says to you know on your instructions to be as personable as you can be, be as personal show your life show everything well you're seeing my life right here right now this is it I don't have workouts that I do because I can't do them quite frankly I don't have a job because I'm too big to even go work anywhere my best friend has worked every single day since we've been out of high school for seven years I worked at a coal center in Terre Haute which is 20 miles west of where I live only because that's the only job I could get. Because I can't do anything else. It kills me to know that I can't go on. I go, I have, I can't go clothes shopping. I can't go to the mall and buy the newest style. I can't go even buy what I wear. As you can tell from when I got on, I'm a huge sports fan. As far as going to the mall and buying jerseys and buying t-shirts of my favorite teams, it's not going to happen. I have to order all my clothes out of a catalog because I'm too damn fat to go to the mall or go to Walmart or anywhere and get clothes. It, it's, it's not a life. The biggest thing that I have taken from your show is to change your life one step at a time. Make the step to change your life. That's what I'm doing right now. Give me the opportunity to change my life. To not, not just change my life, but to get a life. Because right now, I'm not living. I am not living. This is not a life. 25 years old, I'm a college graduate, but what can I do with my college education? Because I'm too fat to go out and do anything. I can't do anything. Physically, I can't do anything with it. Dude, this is going to be hard. I guess I'm only in it five minutes already. And I'm already running out of stuff. But... Here's the thing, it's 
there's nothing that I won't do. There's nothing that I I can't do because can't is not a word that I use in my vocabulary to describe the abilities I can do. I love to go. I love to go out and play basketball. I love to go out and you know just walk around. I love to go do other activities, but physically I am unable to because I'm so big. I need help. I need help. That's what I need. I see people on I I've, I've seen people on the show and you get Jillian and Bob and they 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 make them they have to keep pushing them and pushing them and pushing them. You don't have to keep pushing me. You tell me what to do and I will do it. I won't sit and cry and bitch and moan. I'll do what I got to do. That's how I am. The promise that I made is a promise I intend to keep. On the video instructions it says tell us why we why you would be a good contestant for the biggest loser. I think if you just look into my eyes, you can tell why I would be a good contestant not only on The Biggest Loser, but to come to your facility and win. My goal is to lose 300 plus pounds while I'm there. Whether I do it with or without you, I'm going to do it. That's not a choice that I have but a promise that I made that I have to keep I understand my videos probably all over the place and out there and you get all these people that are dressed up real nice and they look real presentable in their nice clean house and all that that's not me I'm not gonna put on a facade to be chosen you want me you got me this is me 100 percent I'm being what I know and that's real. I'm being real with you and showing you what I have. I've been kicked around. I've been knocked around. I've been bullied, made fun of. There's nothing that your trainers have that could break me. So, I'm coming to you for life. Not to lose weight. Not to be on TV. Not to win some grand prize. But for life, it says, w tell us what you're more, most passionate about. Being able to live is what I'm passionate about. Being able to make age 30, to make that 20th high school reunion. Because if not, if I don't get chosen, I'm afraid I ain't going to make it. I'm not your average person. Given that opportunity, you will see. I know I'm in no position to call anyone out or to make demands or anything of that nature because you guys will look at my application, you'll look at my video, and you'll look at mine and thousands of others and make your decision. But I'm telling you right now, you will not find anyone that has the passion, the determination, and the will to do this more than I am more than me that is a guarantee so it's really up to you guys but I'm telling you right now if you want ratings and want the next biggest loser I'm your guy because the passion is there the determination is there the will is there the first thing that will give out is not my heart it's not my will my body will give out before I will. I will not quit until this is done. And if I don't get picked this time, get ready to see my application again. Because I'm going to keep applying until you bring me out to Los Angeles. I'm going to keep applying until I'm wearing a shirt that says The Biggest Loser. I'm going to keep applying until I'm on stage doing a live weigh-ins. I'm going to keep applying until I am on the final episode with the final weigh-in holding that check and being crowned the biggest loser. I know my video is supposed to be 10 minutes and this, I'm pushing it close. So I'm running out of stuff to talk about, but most people, it's a video to be on a TV show. That's not me. I'm not fake. I don't do video, please. 
the only thing I'm doing is asking for you for a life. A life. You always say, biggest losers changing lives one step at a time. You won't be changing a life. You'll be giving someone life. I'm, I'm ready to come. I'm ready to be the next biggest loser. So that's my that's my plea, that's my video. This is me, a Midwest boy, product of my environment, no self esteem, no confidence because of my weight and because I've been kicked around and beat down by society. Do you know what it's like to go into a grocery store and have hundreds of people laugh at you and snicker you go go out to eat and people point and laugh and make fun my whole life I've been nothing but a joke to other people I want to be taken seriously for once relationships are out the window again you just get laughed at and made fun of so help me save my life. Help me fulfill a promise that I made. Help me live. Alright, that's it. That's it. Maybe.